So Mike's working. Time for Halloween to die to the mountain for three hours. Uh, I'm probably gonna say that for the last, honestly, just because like it's such a uh, it's such a like long-winded trial. When I say last, I don't mean like the end of the content package upgrade. I mean like I don't know how to wordify this, but like. I kind of want to do something else. That's right, it's all on Oozworm's team. Your clothes, give them to me. Yeah, we need them because we still don't have enough. Side stream up. Oh yeah, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. This Boris page is so fucking good. Like, double defense up plus one is just so powerful. Like, I bet if Kato's page worked, it'd, it'd be better, but, like, none of the other ones are, are worth a damn, and I'm just like, shit, dude, this is really good. Then we do that next uh, story on a, the index and some shenanigans we fight against Kalos 2. Was... I can't believe Kalos 1 is dead. Time for me, Kalos 2, to take go to this way and take out the library. Just more mafia coming in to ruin the day. No, it's just basically it's essentially it's the thumb again, except it's just it's just it, it's everyone again, except it's just a different. Like, it's just there's two of them. Wow. It, it turns out there's actually two of each of them. Wow, Hakma actually gets off his ass and does something. I can't believe Hakma is a fake player. Look at those people over there. Well, that was his original outfit in the uh, in the main game. This old man is gonna beat you to death! I love the idea of just... Hawkmo with brass knuckles calling you gutter trash. Oh no. Not this fucking asshole. Really? Oh, that's interesting. Grant us I so we may see... Oh my god! Well, it was like... It. So <laughs> interesting things of note. A, this was actually its, like, primary form in the game. I can't believe it, High Wing. We're fighting against Carmen. Carmen off the ship. I was gonna say that! You she shut the fuck up! <laughs> she broke out of the... the, the, the her bed. She's gonna kick your ass. We'll awaken in three scenes if... If a heaven's thorn or a burning heaven's stagger, this does not go down. It becomes active if no thorns are awake. Uses a mass attack, the same scene it becomes active. Wings for an old god! Mm. 
10 feet. people. Shit, holy. <laughs> 10 people. Yeah, right? God, what does Feeble do again? Uh, you take more damage. It's defense down. Oh, shit. Wait, wait, wait. No, wait, no, wait. No, that's fragile. I think uh, Feeble... Uh, I think, I think Feeble that, like, is um, attack down. Yeah, attack down. God, your bones. I still... I'm taking the calcium from your bones. No! The Wyvern engages in combat against another character. All other librarians take damage equal to 40% of the max HP. If a librarian engages in combat against another character, I'm struggling to figure out what's happening here, because I'm wondering what's preventing us from just like dogpiling this thing. Um you might have to check their attack dot, their attack pages. It's oh, all counter. Well, there is that you know, in your side. We take twice as much stagger from damage from the flex. Because the don't look away is um pretty um odd thing to say because it says if an librarian engaged in combat it gets another character wait no that's not wait no it's not never mind i'm reading it wrong hmm. is there a debuff I'm, not, I'm missing i feel like it just sounds like if you're while you're attacking another character all your librarians take damage They're gonna debuff the shit out of you, uh, and also recover the he the fucking heaven thorns. Yeah, that's what I'm looking at. Interesting that only one's uh, active at the moment. Yeah, because uh, basically the idea is um, it's gonna build up, and if the big guy awakens, we are fucked. I think the idea is that we have three turns each enemy to beat him down. What is that uh, status underneath the 4-1? The one uh, in front. Basically it says uh, Dormant 3, it'll awaken in three scenes. Um, if the other enemies are staggered, that will not deplete. So if I stagger the... the uh, oh god, back. Damn. Ugh. Oh, I see. So if, if anyone is just staggered, the countdown doesn't go down. Yeah, exactly. So it's um, yeah, it's basically a, a, a speed battle. The problem is that I don't really have any uh, means of deflecting this guy. It's probably gonna own me for life, but abnormality fights are nice in that they don't really have any stakes. So I can kinda just vibe a little bit here. Alright, let's see how owned we get. Oh, you joker, stagger him. No. You're looking away. Stop looking away. They definitely want us to stagger to, like, not do our usual prestige. They want a stagger. So I think this requires a more defensive approach. And when I say defensive, I mean literal ass defensive. Yeah, I want to say because they want you to stagger because when you stagger, it means that you're able to take it off before the other ones awaken. So you're not like mob. So this is kind of like um, Dark Souls 1 for King's Fight rules. The only problem is that this j my uh, smoker doesn't exactly stagger. Or not stagger, um. Uh, 
deflect. It's right there, come on! Also, wow, I'm losing a lot of attack on, uh, on any attacks. Oh, because it applies feeble, that's right. Wow, we got fucked up. Seven. What exactly applies the feeble? After engaging in combat, inflict- uh, Oh. Oh, so spamming all that attack to get energy back was bad. Big oof. He basically is telling you to stop using too much. Be careful on using too many attacks. Yeah, so they, they want us to uh, A, intercept with different abilities, which I can't hear because I don't have any uh, things. Yeah, intercept to really like something you can get to like like make you work on deflection. To try to probably use as little like ages as possible if you're going like take it. But the thing is, if you're going to do it, that's um, basically try to fracture like uh, stagger them as quickly as possible, like as like in little moves as possible. So then you waste all. So then you spend all your tech all all there. Think everybody's up now. Oh yeah, the other guy's up. So basically, you want the so, once it's staggered and that's all you're fighting, well, not, well, not everybody's up, only the next one's up. But it's, uh, once it's staggered, you then pile on on that thing to kill it. I gotta say though, they probably could have did rearrange the way to, the layout of this fight, the the boss um, character layout is because yeah. that last the thorns is kind of covered up. Yeah, I think they want you to like look at it with the UI, but <laughs> it can't be helped. Can't be helped, but it's just like because uh, like you can look at the UI, but it's just I like can't that punish, UI. Damn it. Yeah, that sucks. Yeah, see, like, get as far as you can, you probably just, like, reset, re restart the fight, because it's... Yeah, I, I might feel need like to restart, because, like, J J Jacob got fucking ruined. Yeah, because, cause, yeah, you might need as much as you feel you can, because, like I said, like, that's probably what it, it feels like that's what you're going with. It yeah, to... doesn't feel too bad, it's just, I yeah. went in completely, like, dumb. I came in completely head empty. Honestly, I do feel the first fight of, of these terminalities is just a learning phase. Uh, once you like, you get like the idea of what you need to do, then you come in like geared up. Uh, if you're able to beat it first go, that's good. But you know. Oh, I'm not gonna attack this guy because like it's just gonna be my untimely demise. Yeah, because like the way it seems, like I said, the way it seems so far is they want you to. Uh, Basically, you want the stagger. What? Yeah. What was that scream? Uh, that was Brinker. Wait. Read its things again. Oh, the passive! Yeah. Look. Oh, I'm an idiot. Is that the don't look away thing? Yeah, because I was attacking several different library or several different spines. So once one awakens, you're kind of fucked. Yeah. Yeah, that's why it feels like that's why they want to stack like they, they, that, that the last bit, the uh, twice, twice the uh, stagger damage on deflections, because like it, it feels like they want you because the whole like once it's staggered, the the content can go down. So it gives yeah, you time like, to fight them out one at a time. It might make sense. It's just I 
execution. I don't think I'm properly set up yeah. this. Yeah, I don't want to ask the recruiter of the Kingdom of the It's an interesting fight, I gotta say, though. Yeah, yeah like, this is really cool. like, it's, it's an interesting fight. As, as atrocious as this passive sound, though, <laughs> but it's just um, it's it's pretty neat. It's like it's pretty neat. Ew. He's gonna intercept no matter what. It sucks that I kind of need that energy, but I don't want to get slapped in the balls with counterattacks. Like, I kind of poured on the whole, like, gameplay contrivances and, like, difficulty versus, like, like lore and stuff. Where it's like, of course these things are going to be immensely difficult, because one, you're, like, this far in the game, and two, it's to show that these things that you're fighting, these abnormality you're fighting, or that's why they're difficult, because it's, like, because all, like, it's, like, it's a fucked up situation you're, like, you're dealing with. So the whole, like, massive people in Vagil is just nuts. Oh, I see. I could do eight intercepts. Ah, uh, you're approaching me. No. That's actually not the one I want to intercept or punish, but I don't really have a choice. Oh, you've attacked me. I'm going to take away your gains. No. Yeah. They make you weaker than one of you attack him. This is an incredibly awkward fight because, um... I don't have the card dri I'm not getting the card dry I want. <laughs> I cast old on you. Oh no! God, that's what it feels like right now. Cause like I'm not getting these intercept rolls. Old is such a really fun. It's just, it's just a stupid video game debuff. Man, really? Ugh. I'll write punishment rolls at three times. I think this one might be a wash, cause uh, he's gonna awaken and then I'm going to die. Unless I stagger here, but even then, that's going to be tricky. Does the feeble ever go away? Because I notice I'm like getting way more feeble than I should be. It says feeble yeah. for page, but like I'm getting fucking five, and I'm not using Is it five. Page also died. It says per page during the battle. Oh, oh, ew. So it is straight up the whole time. Speed is key, you gotta kill him as fast as possible. So here's the interesting thing. Um, if we don't engage with him, we're gonna take 40 damage across the board. Wait, uh, no, video feed connection. What? What, what, so what does it say again for the, um, don't look at the, don't look away? If like, library engages comes... with combat with another character, all other librarians take damage equal to 40% of their max HP. Ah, uh, yeah. Man, they really do want you to three turn every like like nearly yeah, three turn you, every like, enemy. Yeah, you gotta fucking kill it. And I think each engagement counts as that. So if I do, this will be an interesting experiment phase. If I engage twice, will it double the effects? If I could do that. We'll see if this does 80% damage to us. It 
It does do it twice. Ooh. Okay, so Smoker is not the play here. We absolutely need a deck that has full block. We can do that with a Pansy. I just gotta finagle with stuff. Case in point, a uh, D-Rift kind of worthless. Hmm. I wonder how good his like deflection is. How good would counter die be against this? Well, deflection you want block is the problem. I don't want to do block. What? I mean, if you want block, uh, I can see I don't want that has to block. Well, isn't deflection only on block? Because a clash, if you like clash with double attack, that is just a clash. A deflection is on block and dodges is dodge. This does complicate things though, because I gotta look at my deck and figure out what I got here. But no, that's definitely one I want to use, because it has a bunch of block. I'm also looking for something else. But I think that's exactly what I'm looking for, actually. Oh no, I didn't need to get rid of Leap. I could have uh, kept that for card advantage, even though I'm never going to fucking use it. Yeah, you would only use it. Um, uh, I got a fair amount of block here? Like, in between three defense I don't, I don't See, I don't want to I cannot hear you, dude. Sorry. Uh, sorry, I just realized my microphone was a little bit away. Uh, did I do another Guardian Stance or uh... I think another Guardian Stance. The oh, Iron Wall is... Actually, no, fuck that. Iron Wall is what we want here because it's a uh, double block. Iron Black also gives you, uh, I forget the name of the effect, it is protection or endurance. Endurance, yeah, it improves block yeah. over time. Yeah. I think I want a third dude, but I don't know who. Yeah, that's fine because like we know this information is just that we we were told this information is just that we I don't remember it off the top of my head, but it only makes sense that the term deflection is done with with a uh, blocking. Oh god, what key pages can we use? What are the smoker pages for um, for Star of the City? I remember them being a bit more defensive, but like. Piling, this is an intervention. You're smoking too much. Oh, I know. But I fucking need it, dude. Hmm. I think I have to go with the Lou Association and uh, just build towards block like I did before. Somehow the HUD made this even harder to navigate because of how laggy it is, but I think that's part of the uh, development process. Yeah, they could probably uh, smooth it out on this Friday. Yeah, I changed this deck. I want to say basic game information is fine because you're not outright spoiling and not exactly backseating. You're just saying, oh, it just. Yeah, I mentioned that a while ago. Like, we know we're we've been told the information. There's no spoiling there. It's just I don't remember. It was long ago. Yeah, that it's like basic game information. But so basically, saying oh, it's it's just that it works that way, not outright like oh, you got like 
backseating. The phrase in the way is backseating. Character in the lore, it's not a uh, chat, it's not a uh, an edited character because you can't have a floor. Uh, every floor has a named uh, character in it. Will this work? I wonder if this will work. Because we have to rely on blocking, so hopefully this setup will work. The fights are getting way more specialized, and that's just throwing me off. here an end stage block would be great. Sturdy Defense is a really good ability here just because of that high power to second block. It does so much. start stacking feeble at this rate. Oh no. Does staggering him remove the feeble? It seems that way. Also, is that guy still dormant? Because, like, I don't can tell. I can't believe that this is the red to, red to room from the other people on can. I'm gonna play it again. I kind of wish I knew if the uh, feeble wears off the, when the feeble wears off, because, like, I don't know if I want to fully commit to this as it stands. I will beat you to death. Oh, there's no intercepting here. What the fuck? The devil's dice. Right? Muerte. Good thing I have all these defensive skills all of a sudden. How did this happen? It's almost like I failed this fight twice before. God, why do the cards have, like, ridiculous block dice? It seems like Sturdy Defense is the only one that has it. I kinda need that shit. I don't know if I'm gonna stagger in time with how little damage I was doing there. That'll do it. The 
The worst part of that is that you have to be patient. The one thing of uh, of this fight it lets me up. Kinda makes me mess me up because of the dice priority and stuff. I think I gotta stack more um perfect defenses, cause that like that huge block dice is really pivotal for this fight. And you're always getting emotion levels, so you're not gonna miss that. Okay, so there's a sturdy defense so we might be able to stagger him this turn. But if we do, that's gonna fuck us up. Sturdy defense is pivotal for this. It's a very, it's a very fine-tuned fight. Yeah, because the moment I engage here, I'm going to take a lot of damage. Mm -hmm. do a hundred. Fourteen times three, fourteen, twenty-eight, thirty, forty-two at best. So we're gonna have to do a lot more attacks. I think I could afford two attacks on this guy. See how this works. Oh, it's the other people that take the damage, so we may be fine? Nah, it's not enough, damn it. This might be a wash. Yeah, I think this is unfortunately a wash. The, like, there is no room for error there, but the, but the big difference there is that um, it's quick and it's really easy to intuit what to do. So let's uh, find this a little bit. It all comes down to execution. Yeah, and I hope that. Yeah, I have enough sturdy defenses. I was gonna say if I don't have enough sturdy defenses, this might be a problem. Demonstrate right, the crash. Whoops! Looks like I already need it. Fuck me over with those rolls. I don't think guarding stance is the play here. This is just how uh, how it plays out. God, this is such a fucking specialized build. I hate it. You managed to finish Dorothy. Yeah, we got on the last attempt, and it was really goofy. I think if you do, if you get like all three uh, perfect defenses, the dude will just auto stagger.
you know? I just thought it. Hmm. Oh god. Well, I wonder whoa, what whoa, I whoa. have in my opening hand. <laughs> Get his ass. Oh, that one. Well, that block was really pathetic. Man, that did what? That was not as great as I thought, but that was probably attributed to the poor first roll. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I think this will be alright. Just throw all of the defenses at him. Do it! And I think this phase I have to kill him. Because next turn I gotta put the beats on uh, the third one. Yep. Which I believe I could do, because I have a big cost card for everybody in that regard. Except here, because I took out, uh... I took out the big Wrath of Torment thing. God, I hope I have enough attack for this. Oh yeah, I think we'll be fine. Especially when Grandpa beats you to death. There's something very funny about just this classy old man dragging you to the dirt and beating you senseless. We're gonna be fucking great, and I believe I believe sturdy defenses also draws you a card. So yeah, this fight was built to exploit that. Uh, what's the count on for this guy? Dormant three. Yeah, big rolls like that. That'll save the day. But we gotta roll good dice. You know what I think? Then people compare the pick where we came in there to say Harvest Brain on local. Yeah, uh, Festivore did that a while ago. <laughs> oh no, I can't do this. Okay, what now? Uh, made the comparison that this is just Angela in the tomb. You mean Carmen? Carmen, thank you. Ugh, I can't stop that. But this presents an interesting opportunity because I believe we're going to stagger no matter what we do. So I could just have someone fly in under the radar and uh, ruin them. I do have to fight that though. I don't know, technically I don't have to. There we go. Yeah, he doesn't get any of his counter dice. Get he yes. And since we're one up on time, we could use- Oh, we don't even need to restock. Well, Grandpa needs to restock. He's tired. I think the big folly here is that for uh, the bottom page, I didn't pack any fucking uh, attack cards. Do I need to do that? Mm. Is, it, is it an attack? Uh, punishment. I think we have enough damage output here to just deal with that. Especially when somebody is already on uh, emotion level 3. Or 4. 
Oh, what the hell? Wow, that was weird. My lights bowed out. So if I disconnect, there may be a uh, power issues that we're having right now. Can't be related to my energy though. No, that's doing a knife. Oh, the gimmick is um, you have to deal with them all beforehand because the moment two of them appear, you just lose the fight through uh, raw damage. Because we're going to have to deal with him later. Does he have the same problem as everybody else? Yeah, take as much... Twi take twice as much stagger damage from deflects. Yeah, because it's like, you gotta, like, kill him. <laughs> you gotta kill him all the, like, time they pop, they pop up. You can't have two, uh, like, active at once. Because mm -hmm. we have two active at once, all it takes is, at most, three turns to kill everyone. Yep. I gotta go check my kitchen real quick, because, um... I feel like something weird is going on with my power map. I think I'm gonna love something on. I can't believe having this oven on. Oh no! Sorry about that. I'm just a little concerned that I might have a like weird blackout scenario. And yeah, the fu the funny part about this is that you're not gonna get stagger damage through uh, what's it called fighting, because they will absolutely ruin your uh, physical ability. Did I not choose the right card for Hakma? I think you probably did, but somebody got the fist and so two the content die fist. Weird. Because well it's counter die, so the one that protects it is the one who gets the fist. This is bad though, because I am running low on energy. Oh man, the fucking warps, the warp passes would be really good here too, because, uh, free damage is free damage. Ooh, wow. Um, what's it, Pansy? I haven't named these guys, so I don't know who they are. Not in a good spot there. At least with um, Jacob, I can recoup the energy with class and decorum. Did we get our energy back? I think we got just enough. Oh. Wait. That's a mass attack, but not. Oh, it does say it's a mass attack, it just doesn't say it on page. That could use a little fine tuning. I forget, on mass attacks, uh, they don't yep. eat the dice, do they? Uh, you don't need to target the attack, you just need Yeah, to but what I'm saying is, here's the scenario. On each of the dice the mass attack pages are targeting, I'm going to use, um, perfect defense. Will that eat the huge defense dice? 
They do think Only they... if they... Okay, so then it won't fucking fail. Like, perfect defense is quite literally perfect defense. Does he still have the thing that's weird about the, uh... Oh, no. He doesn't have the weird fragility. No, everybody's just not doing any attack damage. If this character remains active for three scenes, more heavens... Okay, so we do have a three-turn timer to stagger him here, too. Oh, that just needs a big front-facing block. Do I even have that here? Kind of? There's no punishment for using multiple attacks on him outside of all the uh, counters. Because, like, I need to start getting energy back is the issue. Yeah, you can use, say, your very last dice when you want to get energy because by then probably you will have uh, used all these attacks. Yeah, here's hoping. Like, I need that fucking energy. I can't keep this pace up. The only problem here is that energy cycle doesn't give you light on a uh, use, it gives you light on hit. So I have to make damn sure that their counter dice are drained by the time we're done. Oh, oh, I did the wrong dice for Hakma. That's Ooh. not fucking good. Oh, this is a fucking chore. Am I not doing the... Oh, the sequencing fucked it up. Yeah. Wow, this is really fucking hard. And therein lies the problem of I don't think I have enough counter dice to deal with that. But those are counter dice. So if anybody else just goes in on there, they can handle that. I'm also running super low on energy. This is fucking killing me. There we go. But that's a lot of stagger damage. Like, if I hit with stagger damage, I fucking hit with stagger damage. There we go. And two people have the energy to fight him. The problem is, not, one of them doesn't have a good attack output. Punishment is fucking great. This is a good card. Oh man, that kind of stinks. At least I can get my energy back here. Yeah, I don't know why I was aiming for very specific, uh, pages, cause, like, if we just throw the stuff, eventually something will hit, and, um, we can, uh, we'll get him on the crack back. Is 
that's not gonna be enough damage though. So I gotta get this perfectly next phase. Also, I like how we just dragged this thing across the fucking map. <laughs> Ooh boy, I hope that stagger, um, doesn't, I hope this doesn't send a, uh, a thing next turn, because that would be really bad. We could just throw a whole bunch of sturdy defenses at him and it should mess him up. Too bad, because like we got this going on for us. Yeah, just started them. The question is, next phase, are we gonna see a uh, plane come up? <laughs> no, we're oh, not. No, you, too noise dormant. You fucked up. You took too long. Whoopsie daisy. I know that would be such a kick in the nards if that happened. <laughs> nah, so, this one is not like me. No, Hakma has nine to lead. That you are gonna be fine. You weren't paying attention. Hawkma didn't take so much amount of damage. It just turns into another Thorn. Boots it, I think. Nine eighteen. Ugh. You can only do one attack without dying. Oh no, it gained more power. What happened? Oh, it's because somebody decided to look away for it. I think that should be enough damage. I had to sneeze. Yeah, there we go. That was a pretty good fight. Really tricky, yeah, it and, it kinda, and it kind of fucked with my deck, but that was a pretty interesting fight. Oh, it's man. all red. <laughs> because it's red. It's steak. Once it recognizes that it lost your attention and focus, it will spread its wings. Like an angel, its wings will reach the skies and extend towards the ground, eventually blocking the sun out. Is this just cancer cell from Cells at Work? No, you just gotta do your super, you just gotta do your super punch and you need to kill it. That's all you need to do. It was like work yeah. with the cancer cell with super shayan. But Cells at Work is such a stupid <laughs> It's so fun though! Super punch! It finally worked! Whenever a character other than the selected librarian engages in combat, I all characters it. other than the attacker, target, and librarian take 1 to 10 damage. So, it's technically a huge swing, but it hits your team too. Yeah. Basically, like, you, like, two people fight, um... I like the gaze of others. This one's really good. That's what a gaze is. Attention. An invisible string that connects us. Soul focus. All dice gain one to two power on one side at attacks. All dice lose one to two power in a clash. I think that's really neat. Uh, don't look away. Just keep your eyes on it. Contain it in your sight. Deal and take twice as much stagger damage on deflect. Oh, that's cool. I like the emphasis on block dice because, um... Back in the day, dodge domination did kind of overwhelm things. It's a very, it's a very um, rich reward deck. I'm looking at Hakma's stage here, and I notice he has a deck in front of his ridiculous. He has a desk in front of his ridiculous like staircase. A staircase to heaven. Oh, well, oh yeah, that's the obvious <laughs> allegory. But my thought is like, just above on the top floor, there is his bed, and all he does is get up, <laughs> walk down the stairs. Sit down no, for he work. slides down the he slides down the rail high. Do you really think Hakma is that rad? No, he's a he does it because no one he does it because no one's looking. Uh, Library watching the TV. It's like, no, you're not. You didn't see any of that. Ah, uh, oh, my back. Aren't you asking for too many books at once? As I awoke later than others, I have much to learn and catch up on. 
I was always one step behind the others. You mean how you have one foot in the grave? Because you're old. <laughs> A trifling attempt at mockery. You know, all the other librarians here told me that they were following a person called Carmen. You joined her in a research like that alongside all the others? You're right. You're right that most others followed Carmen, but I was loyal to another person. Jesus. There was a man called Aeon who founded Lobotomy Corporation and created Angela. I had faith in him. Everyone carries some form of faith or belief. In my case, I believe that he sought to do... What he sought to do was the right thing. Roland, do you happen to be a religious person? You know, I never got that implication from Hakma or Brian. Uh, he... He goes more, way more like that as Hakma. With the nope. years. Nope. I'm not sure there's even a proper religion in the city. And the bigger ones are all money-hungry schemes in disguise, so there's no point in putting faith in any of them. Then I must ask differently. What do you believe in? Sandwich. What do I believe in? Getting out of this place one day. That is simply called a wish. Guess I don't have any beliefs then. I never had time to care about things like that. I had my immediate future to worry about. We live in a world where it's tough to think about or... We live in a world where it's tough to think about or look back on stuff that won't be helpful right away. Dreams or faith or whatever. You're talking the talk. What do you believe in, then? I believe in the eventual arrival of the world my scholar and mentor dreamed of. This faith is the guiding principle of my every action. Just, what kind of person was he to make you his devoted fan? He was a man with far sight. He strove to reach an unreachable place. Does that, doesn't that description also apply to Carmen? At least that's what I heard about her. There is a clear difference. Sir Aeon was gladly willing to accept evil for the sake of realizing his cause. Yeah, speaking about that, I seriously don't get that Aeon guy. Hell, all he did was revive his dead friends against their will and play house in his underground lair just to satisfy himself. Am I wrong? His deeds cannot be comparable to something as puerile as playing house. I don't know how great and eye-opening his enlightenment was, but he left a huge trial of trouble for everyone else in that process, going from what I've heard. I mean, you went through a whole lot of suffering in your second life as Lobotomy Corporation Sephiroth, and Angela is still so infuriated. It's all because of him, isn't it? He's looking like a complete mess from an outsider's perspective. That's a good clause! Because, like, it is very important for Roland to say, Hey, I just got here. This all sounds fucked. He endeavored to reach his goal in spite of such obstacles. He sought to fill the gaps out one way or another in order to, in order to endure the eroding life. You will never understand it, his sacrifice and dedication. <laughs> okay, boomer. <laughs> Boy, aren't you a total zealot. They say Boy. faith... They say faith blinds the eyes of feeble-minded. I believe I am not the only one blind with faith here. Can't be any worse than you, pal. I gotta admit, Hakma's like... I thought Hakma was kinda cool in Lobotomy Corporation. Here, all I can th all I can think of when I see him is, okay, Boomer. Yeah, because, like, Hakma is kinda like, he's supposed to see, like, the guy who knows. Like, you're supposed to, like, feel like you get answers from. But also, because you're playing as, like, because you were playing as X, the manager, who is the Aiden surrogate. Oh yeah, because Hawk was way more amicable to you because you were A. I want to say you were necessarily where A was basically like, quote unquote, like his something stand in. It's kind of because the way it feels like it feels like you're supposed to be A, but in, in case you're also not. Um. But now it's just like he's not speaking to like the manager. Uh, he's now he's speaking to who like I think he's speaking to someone who's an outsider. He's so speaking he to gutter trash is what he's speaking to. I I don't know why, but I just feel like I'll never get Lowell's page right. It fucking bugs me. 
Well, of course he sounds like a complete delusional cult, uh, a complete delusional cult, it's because it's the fact that he's a Florida religion. The fact that he's like, oh yes, I didn't care about Carmen, I just care about what Aiden did. They had the same goal, Aiden and Carmen, just that Carmen is weak. Yeah, looking looking back on it, thinking that, that Bina would be Faith was a little goofy. Philosophy makes sense for her because, like, she seems like the, because because she likes in toy, Warp. she likes questioning people, not questioning as in like interrogating, but like having a rapportee. It's just like yeah, it's like because the way the way like the, like her talks went and um, in mobile court and also the fact that she's a sadist, like it feels like her philosophy is like with their more than religion. Yo, Drake, you need to chill, dude. Like. This is just a stream, no need to get excited. God, I don't know what to do with this deck. Ugh. You know what? Yeah, like, I feel like it should be obvious, but every single time I use it, it's so, like... ...underwhelming? the way I build them, and I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Because, like, all of his stuff is generically good, I just can't, like, cobble together a page that I'm comfortable using. I think the main right. issue I always have is, like, card draw. That and energy regen. I was going to keep going on in this game, and then finally he's a story beat, because it's going to fall back to the character that's going to have way back in the beginning. He's not going to who you are. Wait a second, you're bringing bad your rats? What the fuck? That'd be funny. No, it's what you mean is like you're now facing out against like the dad of that one kid you killed like after the rats. Oh yeah, the Jeff. <laughs> just kill his ass like oh. What about son? It's not a it's not Jeff, it's just like that was that was the, the first thing that entered my dumb brain. It was not a Jeff? No, it was something else. My brain can't pro remember what it was. Uh, you remember? Actually, you remember? Like, <laughs> you remember the gourmet, like those those gourmets of city that those people, those cannibals were talking about? Ah, here they are. Jack. Uh, it was Finn. That was the that was the kid. Yeah, the kid that was like the rookie. He's even like a guy, but we're, we're seeing way ahead, yeah, he was gonna get killed uh, at any moment by anyone else in the Hey, thanks for the follow, Endark. What's up with Jeff? Uh, Jeff is a very mundane name, so it's very easy to like, poke fun of it, kind of like... Yeah, yeah say, uh, an average guy, uh, your everyday day, everyday, yeah. Everyday it's a very goal. Jeff thing to do. Yeah. No, Jeff is, is nothing like Greg, so. Oh, God. Does anybody have tips for a Lowell page? Because, like, I can't fucking wrap my head what I want to do here. Yeah. Do you want to know for, for real? Because, like, my first thought before was get your emotion level up so you can use Forming Storm ASAP. But the problem is, A, you're not going to have the card draw for it. B, you're going to, um, it's hard to get that energy when you're only rolling one dice. Well, uh, personally, I use that one card that, uh, uh Flow of Budget, because it costs is reduced on high emotion level. It's kind of Flow of Budget, the two cost. It costs like one cost. Oh, and then yeah, huh. Because th that'll do damage, but, like, well, I mean, I think the main issue, like, I'm constantly struggling with is the card advantage. Like, I Please. don't know. Please, yeah. chat. We're not turning anyone into an anime program. The only thing we're turning people into is a corpse. I tend to use a uh, studio defense for card advantage and also have the, uh, um, the flow, uh, the, that flow of emotion of the golden card also, because it's just good. But... Emotion, emotion turbulence. It's just good as damage. It's a shame that they shortened the amount of things you can put into the uh, whole, like, combat speeches and stuff. You could've just given something to phrase. The obituary is about to have a new entry today. 
I just feel like, I don't know. This is a good setup for attacking, but you're gonna run low on cards. And while sturdy defense is good, once you get to the late game, you're gonna start, once you get to the late part of a battle, you're gonna start, like, you're gonna have like three or four dice, but only like one to two, uh, one to two cards to use. Single, is really the only answer just use singleton? I hate that so much. Like, I'm not ragging on you for that, but like, it really shows just how powerful Will the Prescript is. It's so nuts. And I think that is, in fact, the situation here. I really don't like it. Like, it's kind of the problem that a lot of uh, people see in card games where somebody finds, like, the most useful thing and converges on it, and that's what Will the Prescript is. Like, it's just so generically good that why wouldn't you use it? The only problem is I can't think of, like, a third energy card to, like, dump in here. Mm. I guess I could probably rely on, uh, something here. Like, Extract Field is pretty good. Yeah. And pick up Inner Ardor for the emotional level up. God, there's, like... Three, three costs here. I don't like that. Eh. Yeah, it's either you want to use Will of the Prescript or Energy Cycle Leap. Like, Energy Cycle Leap is just a good, like, tempo restorer. Okay, that one. Fucking good, so I'll take, I'll keep it. I'm also still kind of wondering what I want to do with the smoke one. I think what I wanted to do here was remove a uh, assault order and stick in that for smoke generation. It's not a lot of ways to apply smoke on someone reliably. And I really want to use Lost Senses because, like, Sorry, no, it's not on my teeth. I really want to stick with Lost of Senses because it's easy to... Because, like, if you use Deep Drag, Lost of Senses will give you... You'll have a long window to get the uh, proc for the card draw there. And two cards is a good card draw. A singleton, a singleton, a thing of magic? Yeah, uh... There's actually just a Highlander and Commander, which are both uh, one hundred card singleton formats. Problem is, there's no real uh, benefits for playing singleton, like in this game. Like in this game, there are cards that say if you are singleton, get a benefit. In Magic, there are scenarios that, like singleton, is not a payoff. It's a restriction that lets you like do do like creative card uh, deck building. Yeah, come up with a funny uh, Magic Gathering deck just to beat Highwind with that, man. Just to win somehow. I can't believe I beat Highwind with a land only deck. <laughs> uh, you say that, Festivore. Landfall is a very powerful strategy. I have a landfall deck. <laughs> land only. I mean, if you're talking 99 lands, then yeah, it's pretty dumb. But, like, there's a, there's a format that has. It's basically like. Get a bunch of stuff that says when a land enters the battlefield, do this and this and this and this and this and, this and just fucking accrue value for doing what you do to begin with. Gotta kill a highway with a timeshare. <laughs> yeah. There are also cards that say turn lands into creatures and punch face with them. God, I'm so torn on this just because knowing that the thumb pages are bugged is really frustrating. But... I'm still a little gun shy about Gabura. So let's, uh. Time to fight the wife. Or more. Um. Yeah, what do, what do we want to do? Do we want to do. Burn. Do, do we want to fight the wife or do we want to fight Revenge of Gun? Burn. Uh, no, I, I did know. not beat the mountain yesterday. In fact, we learned that the mountain is very misleading. 
And it almost seems bugged in that if you don't if you don't beat the mountain's last phase, like two turns after you beat the mountain, you will get fucking ruined. Cause like last phase of the mountain, if you get him down to like 150 health, it starts with like the mountain at 125, and then a bunch of minions at 25. If you kill the mountain oh, and don't beat haven't. the um, if you kill the mountain and don't beat the minions, in two turns, the mountain respawns with the aggregate HP of the minions, and then the minions come back with full health. Yeah, it's not. I feel. I think that's intentional. But uh, Howling is uh, do, has not done the mountain at all. He all he's done is um, I've not beaten. The, I have not beaten the mountain. Yeah, I mean he hasn't done it at all today. He just we just but fought like, uh, Heaven. I wouldn't be so upset at the mountain if it simply said like if the mountain dies and isn't and like the minions aren't beaten in two turns, he respawns. People say that's like it says that in like the flavor text. But you fucking drown that shit out when you're focusing and trying to like logistic things. So I don't like the fact that it's there. I want it like in plain text right in front of my face. Like in the rules. Rule! If you don't do this, you will fucking die. You also have to remember, chat, when you're streaming, you kinda of tunnel vision a bit more than usual while while trying to like you're like hey, you're, you're splitting your uh, uh focuses here and there. Let's see what this is. Also, it's like blood fucking red. Weird. Like, I don't remember it being this red. You're that gonna find the wrong. Index proxy. Hubert. Huh. How many do how many do we have left to skewer? Somewhere in Elkhard Nest. 193. Would you please stay still? How could you do this when the finger bow bell? The finger bow bell. What? I think it was mentioned when the thing when uh, uh, early on. I don't know what it is. It's probably finger bow bell. Yeah, but I still don't quite know what that is. You'll learn. Don't act like it's anything new. This isn't even the first time we've had a quarrel with the thumb. Your boss isn't going to make a big deal out of this, you know. Remove the limb of all thumb personnel still remaining in the nest, and hang their bodies on skewers. We're simply carrying out our prescript. No personal feelings are involved in this process. You're fa you fanatics! You're blind and deaf to anything but your prescripts! Obeying them without a second thought! I can't fathom how you could stake your lives on following the orders from nowhere, says the people that are, you know, fanatical to decorum. Hmm, it's that thumb capo. Oh, it's the head of uh, Kato, I think. Isn't that how everyone in the city lives? Or isn't that how everyone in the city lives? We're all fundamentally the same outside of the variation in methods. I don't think it's a um, it's Kato's boss. I don't think it's Kato's boss. I think it's just one of the Kappa, because it was like last time we saw it, there was a gathering of Kappas. That's true. Yeah. This, so is, this is fucking Kappa. rough, though. Yeah, he's just skewering the butt. Remember, remove all the limbs of of all like current thumb uh, thumb agents in the in the nest, and then skewer them. Yep. Arms and legs sliced off and skewered. I forget who's the little who's the little kid with the great sword. Is he is he Luria? A uh, messenger. Yeah. Oh right, that's he, not. He's Jan. Gloria is the big machine lady. Yeah, the ah. to the left. Gloria is the one that's basically like, uh, what's her fuck from the Trigun. That's yeah, the end of this prescript. <sighs> we only have one prescript left to carry out now. It's quite a magnificent sight to see all those limbless bodies make futile struggles with their fading consciousness. You guys are fucking sick. That makes the index the last finger standing in L Corp's nest. The only other obstacle remaining are the beasts of our corp and the blue reverberation. Our corp. Beasts Rabbit. of our corp. I know, like, that's why I was surprised, because, like, beasts of our corp. Are they referring to the soldiers as beasts, or do they have actual fucking animals? Probably it's the study as beasts. Uh, it, 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 honestly, it could be either or, because we don't know it, because, like, because we, all we know about our corp is just the fact that there is the rabbits. Like, we most know most about the rabbits. Uh, only thing we know is that there's also other branches. Like, there is the, the rhinos and the reindeer. And that's it. I'm still mad that they made the fucking teaser for the smoke war because it looks cool as fuck. Yeah, it does. 
All hail the prescript. I love how it always leads us to blissful places. Prescripts are just meant to be followed. It's not a good idea to give extra meaning or have any sentiment for them. Some big head. Some big mouth you have, Mr. Messenger. Oh, wait, that's Gloria. Some big mouth you have, Mr. Messenger. Okay, so we'll just confirm that Jan is a dude, because, like, I remember there being some confusion on whether, on his, uh... On Androgyny! This yell, it's, now I'm just thinking of Gloria just talking like fucking Harley Quinn for the fucking, uh... uh... Oh! You, you want that? <laughs> you were barely alive when we found you. Your lower jaw destroyed and your tongue and eyes gone. <laughs> I can't that's do that forever. <laughs> I, I know, that's the way, the way, it's like the way the, you're using a voice, and it just made me think of that. Mr. Messenger. <laughs> Mr. Messenger. <laughs> oh, God. It works so well, too. Fuck. I can't do that, though, with a straight face. That's the worst. If it weren't for the prescripts, you might have gotten any treatment, let alone lived. I still don't think the prescripts are anything. Oh, Fe Festivore didn't kill me. I killed myself trying to fucking own Festivore. It's like, ha, huh, Festivore, <laughs> I gotta own you with your own desires. Oh no, I'm shooting myself. <laughs> what is this gun me. backwards? <laughs> A deflect idiot. <laughs> the messenger is correct. Prescripts are to be fulfilled. It's as simple as that. Messenger Jan demonstrated it well through his past actions. Gee, dear. The scent of blood is in the air. I'm not one to speak, but the index really hasn't changed. The blue reverberation. I don't believe we are mutually hospitable enough to be having chats in such close proximity now. Huh, friends. No need to be so wary. I'm here to ask you a favor, Proxy Esther. I was wondering if I could take those heaps of flesh on those skewers you prepared. It looks like you're done with your prescript anyways. I never told you to keep them hanging forever, no? Recycling, eh? Yet it did not bring us tell us to bring them down. It's up to you to interpret the messages, so I'm personally asking you, proxy friends. This is tough. What do we do? I really don't want to let him get away with what he wants, but there's no good reason to refuse. Let the blue reverberation do whatever he wants with them. We only need to sit, see to it that the prescripts are fulfilled one after another. There's no need to cause unnecessary conflict. These, these are, these are just know. bodies for fucking uh, Oswald. I don't see Argalia as a Joker type, if I'm not going to lie. Because Joker, yeah, Joker's uh, actions... Joker's actions and intents were unfathomable, while Argalia has kind of a clear intent, which is reviving his sister. As far as he know. He's just also mind-broken at the moment. Because if you notice, when we did his first, like, fight, the one the fake-out fight, um, he kind of fucking stopped slack to jaw out in front of Angela. That's a clearer explanation. Good wisdom, as always. I'm glad we don't have to see each other's guts today. It's always a delight to talk with proxies, you see? They have a similar scent as mine. Hmm, you know, I'd love to recruit maybe one of you to my ensemble. I have no interest in learning what you're trying to do, and I suggest you cut your antics short while you still can. Yo, is Yan gonna join the, blue, the ensemble cast? Who knows? What are we? What are we at right now? We're at, um, we're at skull. We're at Skullface. Um, Who knows? The the gears lady, uh, Oswald. Um, the Phillip. puppeteer. The Philip. The puppeteer. The puppeteer. And... The the re the um, the the red knight. So we're at like seven right now. So Jan would make eight. I mean, two four-on-four four fights would be pretty good. Unless we fight Yen here. That'd be interesting, yeah. I don't know. Like, Yen doesn't seem like the type to fight. 
Is that so? Mean. I'm sure you'd like it once you heard it. Anyway, we better take them while they're fresh, right? I'm counting on you. Oh, right! Yeah. Them! The musician of Bremen. I forgot about them! Yeah. Also, those are masks. Uh, those are not masks. Yeah, they're I not masks. No more. They're actual demi-humans. What? Oh yeah. Uh, oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. I forgot about that. That, that they were working with uh, Agralia. Their musician and Brevins are part of them. They also became one single person. Tanya. Was, single Tanya is the wolf person, right? Yep. <sighs> You're right. He always dumps the tedious chores on us. <laughs> Look at how the meat skewer nicely on these sticks. It's like I'm looking at fine brochettes with a delicious smell. The eight chefs, huh? That's a faction we haven't seen yet. I know! This will make a perfect treat if I spread a mix of soy sauce and ground garlic on this, and then grill it! What do you say, Mixer Face? Actually, uh, we're, we're, well... Okay. Oh, these are three people. Uh, these are the... This is Bremen. Lelou yeah. is his own thing. And then we have the chefs. Greta. Uh, yeah. Either the chefs or they're just a member of the chefs. But I think weren't they like referenced by uh, Pierre? Yeah, the so. egg, yeah, the egg people that changed uh, changed the whole district. I think because to cannibalism. I don't know. This is so really interesting because I didn't because I thought I didn't realize that the musicians of Bremen were actually referenced like a fucking actual thing. Yeah, because uh, they were. I mean, they could say they say they say that they were truly more of them. And now there are three of them in one as one single thing. Uh, some appetite you got there. They did a good job of chopping the meat into nice chunks, I'll give them that. But the meat itself isn't very high quality. Easy, friends. We need them for other things. As long as you can carry them all in mint condition, I'll let you have two or three, maybe. Of course. That's up for a that's up for Yehun to decide, though. No worries, he'll definitely allow it when I tell him I'm going to make mind-blowing cuisine out of it. Okay, like, this is so very weird. The ensemble cast is obviously led by Agralia, but it sounds like Yehun is doing things behind the is like the actual head. Uh, no, Yehun is the guy that uh, is the puppeteer, so he's yeah, the he's guy the puppeteer. He's the puppeteer, but it sounds like. Argalia is deferring to him? I'm it's probably because uh, yeah. Argalia is doing other things. He's, he's delegated that to uh, the puppeteer because pu he, um, he needs the bodies for like his own purposes. Okay. It's weird. Yeah, more like, yeah, like, I, pro I, like, I promise this bodies to him, but you can ask him for one or two or something like that, probably. Yeah, because um, uh, um, the puppeteer. Oh, God, Greta, has a Greta talks. Oh wait, that's Greta. That's not a uh, Bremen. Never mind. Yeah, I thought that was Bremen for some reason. Yeah, the B Greta is the one in the middle where the musicians of Bremen's are. You know, the musicians. Yeah. Guess we're having a barbecue cut party for the first time in a long while. You're being quite loud for someone keeping others waiting. Oh, sorry about that. We get along much too well with each other, as you can see. Ooh. Ooh. Oh man, I like that face on Argalia. That's that is the look of like, man, get the fuck out of my face. Also, uh, somebody photoshopped this the image of those, of those two facing each other and placed a mask on them. As long as you're choos choosing the roost in this nest, know that you and your minions will have your guts spilled upon the land one day. Really. Is that what you like to think? I beg to differ. Methinks the little animal friends from our corp are the only ones you'll get to gut, rather. The blue reverberation is still an obnoxious spook. There's no need to pay him much attention unless the prescript commands us to. Messenger Yan is the next prescript prepared. Sure, here you are. Let me guess. It says, Esther, Gloria, Hubert, and the proselytes under them shall head to the library. Am I correct? 
We get to be huge! Hmm, the library. Guess we're going there ourselves after all. How did you know that? Also, when, before you continue, check the background. Check the tree over there. Yeah, it's the library. Yep. So they are close. They're in the nest. Yeah, yeah it, it, says somewhere, it, it says somewhere in low coordinate. Yeah, the thing is that the library was not visible before, I think. Yeah, because because the area is covered in like a deep mist. They mentioned this before, so it shows just how close they are to this. They probably don't even need to teleport. They could just walk to the library. All the uh, bodies are gone now. Yeah, because uh, that's because the party boys took them. You look surprised, Messenger Jan. We were already aware that the prescripts you've been delivering to us were illegitimate. What? What? Was I the only one being fooled? <laughs> Since when did you notice? That matters little. If you knew the prescripts were fake, then why did you still declare war against the thumb? And why are you about to dig your own grave by going into the library? I simply follow the prescript. It commands me to carry out every prescript delivered by Messenger Jan. Oh fuck. So the prescripts knew then. Of course they knew you moron. <laughs> Just how much Boy. do they know, really? Hey, thanks for the follow, Freyer Demon. We cannot escape from the prescripts. Every thought and action of ours is within within the boundary of the prescripts. I don't understand, but Yan's been a good boy, fulfilling many prescripts throughout his life. Yan, why'd you betray us? Was it for money? Gloria, there is no such thing as betrayal in our vocabulary. All that matters is whether or not one has carried out their prescripts. Huh. I'm sick and tired of this. Those stupid prescripts are everywhere! This is interesting. I've lost so many things, abandoned you. and neglected so much because of the prescripts. I've lost my family, killed my friends with my own two hands, stole precious things from people and looked the other way. I was ridden with guilt, but I forced myself to do it anyways, because the prescripts must be carried out. The prescripts guide us to the right path, they said. Have they really led me along the right path? Uh, yeah, yeah, and over here, remove six hook, turns out, oh, it reveals Yo, the rest. there's gonna be a fucking blue thing there, isn't there? <laughs> that would yeah, be so was, cool! He's just like... I was with the, blue, I was with the ensemble cast the whole time. Oh, he has to do the fucking Yakuza coat pull, too. Like, that'd be great. <laughs> I resented prescripts. I feared them. Loathed them. I didn't even want to look at them again. And then a prescript gave me the role of the messenger. Yeah, it would be fucking funny, wouldn't it? Here, do this. Delivering prescripts with my own hands. So I began making fake prescripts. I thought I was showing my will for the first time with that act. But then the prescripts do this, as if they knew already. <laughs> I feel so yeah. sorry for Yan. This is of like the worst. Know. Actually, that reminds that makes me think how many of the prescriptions that we've seen so far that were um uh, were at or real or not. For instance, the eating that one get person's own foot one. Oh man, is that fake? Because I feel like if he was gonna do fake prescripts it'd be against like other uh index people. It, no, you can't you gotta you gotta you gotta switch it up. You can't have it be too, you know, too obvious. That's true, that's true. Yeah, like the one of 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 Wagon Stone was fake. The one of changes the leg, the right leg with the left leg of say the twenty people with the twenty eight people. Yeah, was probably out of his. Like, here's the thing: if he was actually doing, if he was responsible for all of those weird prescripts, Yan is kind of a sick fuck. I was just imagine this Yen just thinking of this, like, what kind of horrible idiot thing is that can make these people do? It's like the idea, it was like, sort of, sure, like, he could have been like, only doing it to the proxies, but could you imagine if, um, all, like, 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 if some of the ones that he's done, like, to like, regular people were actually just ones that he made himself? That would be so fucked. Like I said, like, he'd be a sick fuck but, if that was the case. Yeah, probably wanted to make people hate their press scripts and try to not follow them, but people still uh... did it. Like, like, yeah. But the problem and also the is, thing is, uh, with the problem with his plan is that even though people hate the prescripts, the index is offering absolute protection. 
because it shows that people even if like, the thing is like if the index knows they're just letting him do it because what he's like we're gonna just have it be like all his fake ones just be real because you know like even if like if we're not to find it like the fact that there are people are blindly following it which well, means that it's just like, how much they uh listen to the index yeah it's kind of like thinking about it this way the index knew yan was fucking around so that means the head of the index is bright and proper fucked. The head also, is bright and proper. Also, thanks for the follow, Lotus. You see the head just like the, the, the head of the index all just spins a wheel, throws darts at it, and just like just yeah, right. but but has a bunch of freaking like rolling machines to just like to generate the prescript. All right, tell me, Esther, was this not done out of my own will all along? It doesn't matter if you did it of your own volition or not. It's our obligation to follow the prescripts. And the prescripts now tell us to head to the library. And ask yourself this. Does free will truly exist in the city? Yeah, I'm gonna fucking just, you know, put that, put that like, philosophy on- That's oh. just the whole thing. That's, the, that's this whole game's thing. Are you really- this is- are you really free? Yeah. Proxies. We shall go to the library this instant. You don't even have an invitation, though. I've already received one. But how? The order to head to the library was just a lie I made up! Messenger Yan, the prescript has invited you to a certain place. The prescript uh -oh. invited me? Are you guys actually going to the library, then? As the prescript orders. I guess you would have said the same thing even if I brought you a prescript telling you to die on the spot. You move according to the prescript at all times. Well, the prescript says you abandon the prescripts. How about that, idiot? Blows oh. up. Oh, fuck. Don't you wonder what the blue reverberation is up to? We'll see soon enough. Although not, I'm not exactly thrilled to find out. By the way, Blue Sicko's got more new members for his band of freaks from the looks of it. I've seen that wolf head, but I don't think we've seen the other two before. One of them seemed rather enthusiastic about cooking. Do you have any guesses? Oh, it's no big deal. I'm just reminded of the stories I heard the other day about the guests we received from District 23 and all. Besides, we had the proxies of the Index to deal with first. The Index... A finger that acts strictly on prescripts. It's curious how he forged false prescripts, but it looks like the prescripts anticipated that as well. Yeah. Whoever's making those must be a genius at pre-calculation. They make seemingly weird instructions, and those prescripts end up benefiting the Index in some odd ways. Like their maker is somehow omniscient. I imagine that one who makes the prescripts is quite an impressive individual. It was A in this whole time. Wouldn't that be great? Like, yeah, it has to like, fit in somewhere here. No, you see what happens is that, um, Jan goes to meet the precept, the precept was like, this six is mascot. Hello, it was Argalia this whole time. Oh yeah, right, that'd be great. <laughs> <laughs> it was me, Austin. It was me all along. God, now I'm just imagining Ar Argalia as, a uh, fucking... I never remember his name, the head of the WWE. Vince, Vince McMahon. McMahon. Yeah. Oh, it was God. me, Roland. It was me. Oh, la, la. No. <laughs> I'm never going to get this done because it would cost a lot. But I'd like to see an animator take the gif of, like, you know how uh, Vince was doing, like, he goes from, like, feet on the table to, like, intrigue and then does, like, all those fucking orgasm faces. I kind of want to see fucking Argalia doing that. <laughs> it would be so incredibly stupid. You gotta be a cut above the rest to be leading a syndicate as colossal as a finger. It doesn't make those prescript worshipping. Yeah, it doesn't make those prescript worshipping zealots any less insane, though. Something wrong? Nothing. I was just having some thoughts for a moment. Hello. Anyone there? She is fucking adorable! What a great robot! Time <laughs> to destroy her. Also, these people are horse. huge! They are. 
Look oh, at the yeah. legs, they're anatomically, like, hilarious. I can't believe, I can't believe Clamp has his stuff You took my body. fucking joke! I'll kill you! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I wanted to make the Clamp Noodle Legs joke, too. Ah. You're just slow to draw, boy. <laughs> this is what I get for letting you talk. <laughs> Too bad. Greetings, dear guests. I am Angela, the de- Ah? Uh -huh. You're a human! Is she? She seems rather ambiguous to me. I don't believe that's relevant right now. The director of the library, also known as the Pale Librarian, was supposed to be a machine to my knowledge. Perhaps we should update the knowledge base with this new information. She's a liger! I'm surprised to see such uh, such an awkward freak still exists in the city. Really? No, I like her means like an ivory. I know. Ooh, look yeah. at her. She's razor sharp. Are you mad? <laughs> you mad? You uh, yeah, mad? Yeah, I'm just saying that for those because no I can't for you. That, Boom! Murder. <laughs> I can yeah, see that like her means like an ivory. So I was just saying, just in case. I'm can surprised. You imagine? I really am surprised Angela has not resorted to the fucking, like, atomic edge slice that she did to Roland. Like, could uh, you imagine uh, if, she, if she really did just do that? And like, no, we're not fighting these people. She just kills them. It's like, no, fuck you. <laughs> Die. Well, I remember reading about this, on, I think, on the Reddit, but somebody said that the young situation that they saw they hit close to Angela because she's trying to act on her own will, but yeah. the idea that... Yeah. yeah, Angela and Yen are meant to be perfect allegories because, as, as I mentioned before, Yen shares a lot of very similar elements to Angela's old design. It's like, the allegory is like a hammer on your fucking skull. They just beat you with it. It's playing to a script. He thought he can go, he can go be free of the script, but no, he was just working, he was just stuck to the script this whole time. Like Angela. Turns out the strip being an allegory for Aeon was on point this whole time. You are to overcome the ordeals in this place and fight for the rewards, dear guests. Please go through that door if you wish to enter. And you're calmer, and you're calmer than what the current information suggests. Proxies, our primary directive is to enter the library as the prescript dictates. Stop this quarrel and get on with it. Okay! May you find your books in this place. Ew. Oh, this is gross. Two acts. Floor is available for reception. One. One. But, remember, we're using the blaster floor. Now, is this, is this cross slide page different? No, he got multi slash. It's a good. Wow! Why didn't we get this before? It's so good, isn't it? Because it's because she wasn't here, but now they're here. So now these people have new moves. Ooh, what the fuck? Uh, if Singleton reduced power of all targets to by one. Damn, this is fucking mean. It's so good, isn't it? We also got respiration, so they could uh. They'll always have at least two mana available. But they do not have speed, so we have the advantage on them. But these guys are not meant here meant to do the work, they're meant to soften us as we before we uh, fight all of them. Because we're gonna have to fight Esther, uh Robot, and Big Guy. Yeah. Esther, Hubert, Gloria, and two fossilized, most likely. Yeah. Yep. Alright, here we go. It is kind of fucking wild how good Hod's floor is, because in between Letitia and Blackbird, that's fucking nuts. Yeah. I was Wait, never I was never gonna use Keter Floor ever until he did the final suppression, which is why the like Keter Floor. <laughs> yeah, that's that's kind of the thing here, cause like out of all the people, like, Hod's ego gift? A, Hod has ego gifts. B, Hod's ego gifts compared to everybody else are really fucking good. Do we have anything that we can't intercept? I wonder if, like, 
to uh, like because because how long it's going to be either like the ego gifts we get for Akira Page either mo mostly can be largely like not particularly great because it's like we're entry anomalies or just be hilariously strong. This is either going to work or we're going to get hella dunked on. Actually, five to fifteen versus five to eight. Ultimate five. murder. Yeah, I might as well just fucking go for it with that. Oh, they're all going for Merlin. I didn't even realize that. Yeah, that's that's the Gosselite stuff. Yeah, they know what they're doing. Also, they always uh, use cards based on their uh, buffs, so... I... Oh, right, I gotta be cognizant of that. Pierce 2, so this is actually more like, um... Four, five, six. This is more like... Oh, it's gonna be base power 7. Ugh. This stuff is not really helping. Well, am I producing smoke here? No, I'm. Well, I don't have any smoke production here. What? kind of drew some unimpressive cards. The will of the pre-skip. It's a picture of Yan. Yeah, it goes with the pre-skip and it turns out that Yan was a pre-skip as well. I'm you, Yan. I, you were the pre-skip this whole time. All those pre-skips you wrote, those fake ones, they were real. How would you feel if that was true? Eh, I don't mind. I think it'd be interesting, honestly. Me destroying a bunch of darts on the board, it's like, hmm, what funny idea, what, what funny scenario would this be? And which one would be yeah, fuck, he, he, I was afraid that he hit all of those bullets. <laughs> That binding chains is actually really tough. Yeah. Because it makes them tanky as hell. I don't even take that much damage this time, but... Mm. Wow, how did we get so much neg- Well, we lost a lot of clashes there. These guys are straight up fucking cheat. I do wonder if have they 
added any more like battle gifts at all since like way in the beginning. Battle what? Battle gifts. I can't parse what you're saying. You're kind of like trailing off at the end there. Battle gifts. No, they have not. Ego ego gifts has not been a thing for a while now. Yeah, sadly. Usually they throw them a, bu a bunch in, a, in an update, so... Mm. Uh, I don't want to use this because I'm just going to lose the clash, but I need some fucking, uh... I need some fucking card advantage on HOD. Oh, it's all on Merlin again. Fuck off, guys! Right. Time to date in mind the game, so it's a show of cast. <laughs> oh, you're a shame. You gotta do this incredibly obtuse thing just to get this up ego gift from the index. That weird mat that eye, eye blind thing that they have going on there. Guess what? I wonder how large Glory is gonna be. I know you Pro didn't die in my game. Probably maximum. That's the joke. <laughs> Gloria is maximum. This be large, so then you're just like it's just because the way like Gloria's outfit page is gonna be, it's gonna be it's just um like her body except your character's head is where her head's supposed to be. I have to hit with this in order to do that, and I'm gonna be hitting at three to seven. God, that's so fucked. Oh wait, I know how to do this. Hang on. Yeah, it really does feel like they are like they're not doing any general advice, but it's not just like random people are fighting throughout, uh, fighting throughout, and it's just like really straight story. Because so honestly, uh, it would be interesting and nice, like just have like they can break up in the whole thing, so just fighting in like random like uh, groups. We are fighting against grade two fixtures. Like, why? Well, where are all these grade two fixtures coming from? Who? Like, it's kind of weird. Whatever. It's yeah, fun. that's another thing that they, that I'd like to see them bring back. They need to bring back the uh, the random, the randomly generated fights. You got to use this very specific uh, set of invites where you just summon the secret fights. Somebody has a mod that actually does that, and that's really interesting to me. Perfect defense! Eat it! Oh no, you actually didn't summon Vespa. Who could have seen that gun? <laughs> Dude, if we fought Vespa, that'd be awesome! Oh man, we're making no headway. Really? If the friend provides power, I need a. Uh, I know who needs power. Power! Also, I thought I had a perk that increases uh, smoke um, adding. Oh, when gaining smoke, not when, uh, lose, when not applying smoke. Yep. There really needs to be a passive for that. Hey, uh, I. Uh, Bleedic. I know you're talking about this, but remember. The proselytes cheat. Also, man, I've been ignoring chat. What's been going on here? I think the last new one was Oscars. I remember saying they're going to add more general invites once the story is done. Did Oscar provide a gift? Yeah, yep. they're, they're annoying to get. It's his, it's his facial hair, his uh, eye thing, and his hat. Oh, Oscar, not Oswald. Oswald, you never fought Oswald. I yeah. know, that's, that's why I was really fucking confused, like... The clown provided a gift? Okay, so we can't interrupt that. Merlin's getting it. But we could certainly... Uh... Well... I'm sick of this. Honestly, if they do add more battle gifts, it would be... Like I wonder how that will like turn the tides on things to like top because I wonder how big the uh, added the bonuses would be on them. But uh, for for honest, like a lot of it is uh, very marginal. Ooh, ooh boy! Oh my god, five energy! Damn, I'm gonna have to like take a hit on the chin here. It's gonna suck.
I let my ass get beat very hard just so I can get get that funny hat. Well, mm, not liking my. Yeah, I like. I have a feeling we're gonna lose this fight exclusively because Cooper's deck is kind of fucking us already. Punish at the stage in the game? That seems a bit too uh, cavalier there. Now you see how to defeat the, in the, uh, the, uh, the index uh, precept is just to hold up a precept that says you will lose this fight. Precept that says you suck. Jump off your horse. This isn't a real pre-skip. Yeah, but it was given to me, but it was for having me to be delivered by Yan. 45, 52, 47, I wonder if I should just shoot someone. I show up wearing a fake, a, a, a uh, like a paper mask of Yan's face. So it's like, oh, hello, gosh. everybody. It's me, Yan. No one's doing a one side on him, so I should. Definitely shoot him there, but I'm wondering if I need to like fully commit since he's about to bite it. We'll do that. I was not paying attention to Hod's ability. Ow! Yeah, I wasn't gonna get that fucking clash. Oh, Hod got right. angry. That's hilarious. I like their funny sword trails. It's like they have fucking scented swords. I know, right? Crush! Ah, uh, you killed one for our ally. Little did you know that we have a secret passive that makes us gain four strength for every dead comrade. Now this is a mass attack. So if I beat them, I'm gonna break their uh, du their first dice. Yeah, they're just fucking gonna go and tri they're just straight up doing the binding chain to everybody. Oh man, there's no interrupting these two attacks. I play kunai with chain! <laughs> man, shut up! <laughs> <laughs> I get that reference and I hate it! Ah, yes, this is what I want to see. This is the card that will destroy their butthole. Okay, what I we need to do is bring back Brawl back. The ultimate skill. <laughs> oh yeah, I would I wish Brawl was still viable. Brawl deck's fucking ruled. I love that shit. You love that when I told you that you can brawl deck bullets. Yeah, that was awesome! <laughs> hey, Highway, you can punch bullets now. So Hod's gonna need some energy, so I should probably uh, contribute. Ah, oh, man. Well, I'm gonna draw energy on uh, doing this, so fucking whatever. I fucked up. Wasn't paying attention. You missed. But I got three or four from what I saw. You got three. Yeah. I'm so bad at looking at, at Shy Look today, it's so frustrating. God, I love that attack so much. It's really fun to see. It's just really good. 
Because a lot of dice are two attacks, so you'll just block them. And then you get four hits. Like, that shit's great. Finally, some, some fucking positive gifts. Oh, we didn't get the heal. I don't think we need to... Wait, what I pick? I don't think I picked the right Ego Gift. You picked the Elite one. Okay, so then Letitia was not on the page. But, still pretty fucking good. I mean, yeah, that's pretty good if you get it. Because, but it's basically a big stagger. Even more if you get a uh, child look today. The uh, problem is it caps at like 38 damage if I'm doing the math right in my head. Yeah, but just a stagger, a stagger is still really good. A stagger in someone. Yeah. I just wanted to that. I don't think I did one this fight. Well, it's a three cost. Like, it's dirt cheap, actually. I do wonder if um, if we've gotten to the point where we're, we have enough, we get enough light to um, run the, the fry shoots. Ooh, yeah, huh? We haven't seen that in a hot while, have we? I think they played it as a night boss because they wanted to, they were working on it but still. But anyways. They yeah, probably would have been night I would understand if like the night boss was just so you can't use it. You put it in there but we just can't we just didn't actually put it in how you actually use it. Who got big front facing block? Actually, you know, we don't need front facing block because we can just reduce the power. You know, you see, we want to know what synchronization is. Synchronization will just be all the librarians will do a, uh, will strike a pose, then jump into each other, four bless warning Voltron, then pull out a big gun and shoot the enemy. <laughs> that'd, be, that'd be pretty great. I'd be all for that. <laughs> the freeze of the stare, like, what the fuck is happening here? I'll form the legs. I'll form the arms. I'll form the head. He decides to become the head. He's got four bullets, and that dude's gonna get annihilated. And just in case, the last bullet should go here, just to like tag that boy. Ugh, Selmar is too fast. There we go. Now I can actually use energy, get energy back, and not have to worry about it. <clears throat> Welcome to the paint dimension. Bullets are here. Is it pretty early the background where it is? Ah, uh, I didn't get the stagger really. That's kind of why I don't really like this ego gift in particular. I like I tend to use it because I tend to get I have somebody set fully for defense here, so. Oh boy, somebody has two dice. Time to kill them. Two uh... dice being the time to die. Man, shut up. <laughs> Get out of here with that! What the hell? <laughs> also, this is gonna suck ass for Merlin, cause like, oof. Actually, that's the one. Oh, this one. And nobody's gonna interrupt him, so we could just fucking bomb he ass. That's actually kind of super fucking nice to see. Actually, I shouldn't go full in on energy, because it, it carries over to the next fight, so I gotta be careful. I say looking at this fucking... 
I didn't fix Boris's page from the fucking abnormality. Oh no! Well, it's fine. You got this. It's fine. I mean, it's been working so far, so I'm not too worried. Oh, dead. Yeah, that's oh. the precepts that uh, foretold. As the precepts foretold, you're owned! Get owned! Ooh, I'm getting some slight lag. I wonder why that is. Alright, time to look at him. <laughs> look at Gloria! It's, so it's just your coat! <laughs> Shimmering. At the start of each scene, exhaust all pages in hand. At new pages, their cost becomes zero. After using six unique combat pages in a single act, enter Blade Unlocked State, which boosts the power of all dice by one. So you- wait, you use it- the act is the whole thing or a turn? The whole thing. Okay, so he has... All- he has all the time to unlock his potential. Her? Yeah. Him? Him. Draw a page every time the character uses four unique combat pages. Casting Nation? Only usable in Blade Unlock State. Deals bonus damage and stagger damage equal to seven times the unmodified roll. Is well, that reduce, reduce is this the power new of big all. four? Reduce all power of uh, power of all opponents dice clash against this by twelve. Yeah, you're not stopping that. Casting Nation will fuck you open. Yeah, also those three, those three, attack, those three pages at the start, those are different pages. Let's be faster! <laughs> unlock. Exhaust this page and add unlock two. So we have what sounds like six pages before Casting Nation comes to us. It only, I have unlock one, unlock two, unlock three, unlock four. What the hell is that noise? Oh, eliminate is just a killing card. Eliminate. Oh god, Esther has red ring mode. Damn, that would have been funny. If only that was still a thing. <laughs> Shit. What was? Um, Cagnus, apparently Chad's saying in Cagnus Station used to be able to hit for zero. <laughs> <laughs> Because that would have been because if it's still if it was zero to five, that'd be really funny because then that's really like that's more like what well how would we get big number or yeah we'll rip dude open. that would be the new big four yeah we'll rip space <laughs> kill highway that one point one percent decapitation it's that a was gun totally skill funny, how is that a gun skill you know you swing your sword and you saw the blade wave it's a ranged attack highway. Sonic Sword! Gloria. Eradication. Mass attack 10 to 20. <laughs> Inflict one feeble. Some it's a I, combination move. Man, I wish this was the mechanic for uh for the uh, proselytes and not like singleton, cause like unlocked stages sounds really fucking cool though. I mean, that means that every fight would have looking blade mode. Are you thinking they could you would handle that? Look, it's six turns, and like, I don't think fights go to six turns. How many guys do these people have? One each. Um, I believe Esther has speed two. Or not? Uh, it looks he like cast, Esther... he, just, he cast. He doesn't say. They really need to get on their act of, like, displaying all the information. Yeah, yeah because you have to understand Highway. It's not six turns. It depends on actually how many dice they actually have. Well, the thing is they... At the start of each PC, exhaust all pages in hand, add new pages. Their cost becomes zero. So it's, they're not going to have any energy issues. So uh, Blackbird's, like, primary focus is not that great in retrospect. Actually, the but... cost on their super move, though... Oh yeah, that's gonna become zero, because like when they shimmer, it reduces it to zero. The thing is, they only have one unlock in deck, and there's no duplicates. So even if they shimmer up a full hand and get it back, 
Oh, it tells you what the unlocked two and three um, skills do, too. When you look at that. Yep. Unlock one, two, and three, but they need to get six, right? No, they just got you. You use six. You need cards. Oh, it's not unlock. Okay. So what are their unique pages? There's basically no <laughs> any unique cards, so you don't yeah. use any duplicates. So. Uh, they need to be unlocked, but... No, look, they're gonna get uh, unlocked, uh, they're gonna get three pages by using unlock, and then... Oh! That's some weird wording, I get it now. Basically, they don't use, if they don't use duplicates, they, they uh, unlock their state. Yeah. That's really yep. weird. So it's not I, say, I think it would be better if it said individual instead of a <laughs> unique. It's time to use unlock six. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say like I was sitting there like, where's unlock th four and five? And then that's when it kind of hit me. That's tricky because now I'm trying to figure out how I'm gonna approach this because now we're on a three turn timer. Yeah, this is Good. a really good page. Like, this is gonna be real good pages to get. How am I gonna have to fight this so many times just to get these pages? I can't write. How am I gonna do this in three turns? Because I only have, I only have these jokers to go with, and I gotta do this in three turns, or else I'm going to get my mouth fucked open. Unless the grint passives are different than the first fight, I would assume they're the same. Here's the prescripts. Oh, they get speed. Wow! They really need to be more descriptive about, about what they have. Cause yeah. like, this is fucked. So, uh, Casting Nation is coming in two turns. I believe, uh, the other two are coming in three turns. Well, the fact so, that the Casting Nation can happen in three turns, but that's only if, um, Esther has the light for it. No, they always are at cost zero, remember? Shimmer. All right, I keep forgetting about Shimmer. But that's if they draw it. I wouldn't be surprised if they cheat. So, turn three, Casting Nation, turn four, just utter annihilation. Seven. Heavy trace. Dice on this page and dice clashing with it are unaffected by power gain or loss. So, this should not work. Yep, it, it should not. What's... who's the Gimp here? Because I think... no, we're not down on actions, it just seems like it because they're all going towards Tiger Browse. <laughs> so, unblockable. Uh, unlock one, two to six. Uh, sixes are also, uh, uninterceptable, which means Tiger is going to get his balls rocked. I don't know what to do here, because we have, we have 9 to 16 coming at us. Yeah, I can't hit that with Devastating Thrash, well, I, even then I can hit that with Devastating Thrash because of, uh... What's it called? I'm wondering where the bigger threat is. Execute or that? Wait. Oh, no. Fucking executes the bigger threat because Tiger... Tiger resists blunt damage. The main issue is that's like what? That's 6 to 9. 8 to 11. That's 8 to 11. That's fucking 8 to 11 on opening hit. Ew. What the fuck? Dude, these yeah, the people are they have the strongest singleton decks. I know, right? I don't think there's any way I'm beating that uh, defensively or offensively. Yeah, when you just farm, just gets all these things done. It's like, yeah, it comes back. Hey, mountain of smiling bodies. Fuck you. If you get to lose, you, you still lose. Five to seven on that second attack. Possible devastating thrash. I think uh, 
the damage will be minimized if I use a golden opportunity. That seems like the that seems like the amount for least collateral damage. Uh, five is where you can intercept one. And I think it's gonna be execute. Which is still gonna suck. Mind you. Like that thing is awful. It's a multi-slash is insane. I I'm sorry, I'm just looking at the scale here in between uh Gloria and Tiger Brows. Glory is straight up like a head and a half taller than Tiger Brows. It's time for me to be even larger than Highway. Yeah, that's kind of the gimmick I wanted to do is that uh, <laughs> once we get Gloria's page, I'm just gonna have you wear it. That way you're just gigantic. And also your smug head is just like looming over. Like, that's what it's gonna look like. You're gonna have that like weird hunchback and your head's just gonna pop out like. Sup. Uh, Am I just as tall, or am I actually the three bees in a trench coat? Who knows? Three festivores in a trench coat. Do I have the ego gift up? No. So four. So that's three, I not paying attention. He bumps into me in the hallway to the library. I fall. Like, I, I fall over. It shattered too much as well. He <laughs> scattered. <laughs> I was confused. Like, oh, what the hell just happened? You, you meet me later on to ask you about that. Like, what the fuck are you talking about? You're crazy. Uh, looks like there's only one four sword of the threes. Man, is, is the cellar just gonna be on intercept duty here? Is that what's gonna happen? I'm confused. Is, he, uh, like, is, that, is this another anomaly he doesn't know about, or is this weird? This fight's gonna you be exhausting, tell. isn't it? Because like they you anticipated can't. the fact that we would have a huge ego, uh, emotion level. What the hell is that? What is that icon on the uh, attack dice? Or on it's the because itself? it's not a page they cannot use it for. So it is, it is an unique page. Okay. But that just means all their sh Oh, for the hand, yeah. But it doesn't matter because they're singleton already, so it's just gonna load up our. Like, there's no. Like. There's no reciprocity there? I think it's just to let you know that, that in case you, like. Ah, oh, yeah. Draw the, in case you draw the card again. Yeah, basically that. If you draw the card again and use it again, it doesn't cut us unique, so it doesn't. So if they, uh, if they use a duplicate the, card, does it reset? Uh, no, it no. doesn't. It doesn't, okay. it's just that it doesn't count towards the, like, So the we may have a chance of having, like, a lesser turn timer. But I, I have a distinct feeling that this game is going to cheat. Oh, of course. I preach it says to unlock blade mode in two turns. Blade mode. Uh, it's a simple one. I I want to stagger him, because, um... If I get him staggered, Castignation won't completely ruin us. It's simple, Highwing. If you don't want to get hit by uh, uh, Dirt or Blade Mode, you, you just got on defense. You just got to turn into a cat. So once they try to swipe at you, you will just backflip uh, away from your attack. Uh, I didn't get. I didn't get the. Uh, I didn't get the uh, unique area attack. That sucks. Not getting either Blackbird or Letitia on my Ego Gift is kind of raw, because I'm going to need that. Granted, Blackbird will actually be useful to stop the minions, but that's about it. And huge damage. Yes, yeah, Raiden shows up, you beat Raiden, then you get to fight against the Winds of Destruction. I'm fucking in this. <laughs> yeah, right? Send down as a shithead, but I love him. Uh, He's a cartoonish villain. Can I intercept that with anything? Kinda? That's a tough one to hit. God, Selnar is just taking all the fucking attacks. Ugh. Oh, interesting. 
Well, I want the one-sided attack on guns, so that's all right. Yeah, we want to go with the uh, blow the sword here, and then do class and decorum to get energy. Here, we'll do a one-sided attack to inflict smoke. Alright, let's see how this works. Gun! Gun! Yeah, the Tiger Brows took minimal damage there, that's what I was looking for. God! Tiger Brows is pretty fucked up already. Those block dice are actually doing us a huge favor. Okay, this is gonna get us some fucking sustain. If we stagger one of them. Uh, I think Tiger has the most, like, sheer number of attack dice. There it is. Time to scream. Bird time! Bedman! Ah, god damn it. Well, Merlin has the energy and he's uh, hopped up on smoke. So I think it's the. and no one's targeting him. So I think he's the best opportunity for doing a black swan. Now, what we want to do specifically is aim for him with his worst dice. Where's it going? Yeah, that'll destroy all of those troublesome dice. Yeah, fucking sick piano riffs are really good. That's why I love Hod's Floor. It's really good. Unblockable. Wow, Tiger, I'm sorry. This is, uh... This is quite unfortunate. Everybody just decided, GET HIM! Destroy that man! Isn't that what the singletons do, though? They kind of yeah. all target one person. Yeah, that's exactly what they do, but unfortunately it's our weakest person, which is <laughs> You. Die. No! No, no! I do the porn! Ah! I don't know why, it just feels like a very, like, goose pump- goose death, like, the Goosebumps TV show. I don't know why I was so out of breath when saying that. Goosebumps. Goosebumps. And can we even intercept it? Do we want to intercept anything at this point? Fuck. But then having an extra body, if you all take the shots, it's 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 not. Give people more time to do other things. What is this counter? Counter three. Yep, he's uh castigation happens next turn. So all all spare dice have to go to staggering him. In fact, I might just take the hit there in order to, you know, commit stagger damage here. I don't want that shit going down. The only problem is afterwards, uh, Gloria and Hubert are gonna be the problem. I think my plan of approach may have been faulty here, in that I should really be desynchronizing these two rather than uh, 
focusing exclusively on one. Nope, can't stop that. Not with this card draw. I think Tiger might be out. So Merlin with, like, fucking that much smoke, I think he's gonna be doing, like, 25% more damage? Yeah. Looks like I keep an eye on Hot real quick, hang on. There we go. Fuck him up, fuck him up! Yeah, this is the problem here. Uh, are we gonna stagger- are we even gonna stagger him is the question. Yep, just barely. Oh, wow! Where did all that come from? There it is, a life for a life. Oh, they're not gonna have their uh, skills yet. So they still gotta build up for this turn and then uh, hit it off next. Oh, fuck. Sorry, Tiger Brows, I salute you. Cause I can't, I can't stop that. Like there's one six coming at you and it's just going to vaporize you. <laughs> The problem is I have to stop these guys, because they're getting their shit next turn. And I have to stop both of them somehow. I might be able to stop one of them? Yeah, if I use... if I use today's expression last... It should hit for, like, a boatload of stagger damage. But, like, I could also just commit to fighting these guys, because they're all going for Tiger. I feel like I should remove these guys, but I don't know if I have the uh, wherewithal to do so. Hmm, I got an attack coming in here. That's actually kind of dangerous. And it's coming from him. Huh. The only problem is, that's gonna completely ruin our, uh, energy output. Oh, what the- oh, fuck! I'm dumb! Sturdy defenses draw two if you do it right. Wow, yep. I've completely slept on that. But do they knew? Like, I knew that one of the card draws was on use, I forgot that they on a Clash win you get a draw as well. Like, man, I fucking slept on that. Yeah, I basically set about two in two degrees, right? The unfortunate scenario here, though, is that, uh, Hod's out on card draw. And I'm gonna need energy next turn. I mean, that could be good. I'm gonna get Forming Storm next turn and a card draw. So I'll be able to do that and Sturdy Defense, maybe Emotional Turbulence? 
if she gets her emotion level high enough, but I don't think she's gonna do that this round. This guy's at 87, she's at 98. But I don't think I could do any stamina damage worth a damn here. the right sequencing. Also, losing Tiger Brows in this fight is going to be rough. I like the like only four left, and the, the pussy lights are... Yeah, so... And thus Tiger died in the line of duty. Dagger, though. Oh! What? Yeah, the one of the times they used was at a, at a, at one of the places they used. They had oh, used God, color. we have one last chance. And Black Swan is up. Oh, shit! Black Swan's up! And we have my big damage. Merlin is the focus here, though, so... I'm gonna figure out where exactly to aim in order to do that. We need a black sword mass attack. You clearly clash with everybody, you're done. <laughs> I think I want to stop hers from going off, but I can't. That's kind of the issue. Like, Glory is going to get her uh, crazy shit off. But at least I can stop his if I don't, like, stagger him out the gate. Oh yeah, I also have, uh, I also have this. Like, I can just fuck around with them. Ooh, that's interesting. Cause like, it'll delete one of those, Blackbird could delete two, and then I could prevent her from getting, uh, getting her mass attack. Yeah, that's the ticket. But now we have to fight a brutal fight. This win, it's easy. Right? It's so simple. You have all those bullets to shoot them to death. Right? <laughs> it's so simple, just gun! I uh, try to mass attack me, me from 2,000 feet away, just shooting me with my gun. He's going to get staggered. That that's not going to come down my throat. So I should just shoot. I should just shoot Gloria to death. What else is happening here? We're not going to be able to do punishment, unfortunately. God, we have like no energy. Ugh. This is awful. Assault suits, roll out! Yeah, this is this is my everything. This right here is my everything. 
And also, I gotta focus on Hog, because I need that fucking power boost. There we go. Nice! There we go. There we go. Ooh, that was a scary fight, but the use of Hod's floor was absolutely necessary. How does it feel, chat? How does it feel to watch High Wayne do this in one go? I think this was nerfed, unfortunately. Exactly. Okay. <laughs> I don't know, actually. Hubert's at five, so that should work. You were like, haha, you're going to suffer, Highway. Be fair, this fight sucks ass. This fight sucks ass. Yeah, this fight, ass this like fight I eat. Uh, I have like no card actions. Ugh, this is miserable. Bang, bang. Happy I told you, Highway, you're simple, just win. Exactly. Why would I ever doubt you, my friend Festivor? <laughs> the shooter to death. <laughs> wow, it's only 940. Uh, it's a shame that Tiger Browse died. Who could have seen that happen? Hubie, Gloria. Man, we only got one Esther book? Really? Ugh, I gotta farm this. Ugh. Yeah. My balls! Now it's time for a high wing to do the roll. You know, sometimes it doesn't sound too bad to just let go of all complicated thoughts and just follow orders like the index does. I think otherwise. You won't be able to. You won't. Uh, you won't be better than a corpse if you just mindlessly perform tasks as they're given to you. And the index looks like just walking corpses in that regard. They appear to have no respect for the free will of individuals. Huh. You know, I do have a thing or two to say about performing tasks as they're, as they're given. Here's the difference. Both you and I are working hard in order to get out of this place. We have a clear goal set in our minds. We're doing this because we wish to be free. However, Jan's efforts prove that... Jan's efforts to prove that he has a will of his own went up in smoke. You used to berate it hard, calling people who would follow it pathetic and stuff. Will you change your mind on that? Perhaps I have. I thought they were nothing more than completely meaningless arrays of words for those who have no purpose in life. Boy. Thanks for the follow, Fi Firewild. As you pointed out, the prescripts of the Index end up be benefiting the Syndicate. That prescript commanded them to eliminate all members of, of the Thumb in Elcorp's nest, right when an underboss and his capos have disappeared. The prescripts Yana had been delivering were false, but an invitation to the library was in that man's hand, as if it were destined to occur. And they knew that he was up to something. It's like they're seeing one step ahead. Hell, three steps even. That fits into the theme of them fucking cheating. That's really good. Yes, I thought they were no more than zealots wasting away their lives and time. But that was a hasty judgment I made from mere fragments. Could the prescripts actually be as omniscient as they make them out to be, Roland? Whether that's true or not, I don't think you have to be so unnerved about them, yeah? The prescripts could do some grand it the prescripts could be some grand entity or a big ball of nothing for all I know. The point is, there's need no need to pay them too much attention for what they say. Even if everything I've been doing was actually done out of the city's will and not mine, that doesn't matter to me one bit, since there's no way for me to realize that. What I, do, what I do know is that the emotions I feel are wholly mine. The emotions you feel. Thank you for putting that way, it that way. I gotta wonder, though. Where's that messenger going? McDonald's. He was apparently invited by a prescript. To where he was invited is still a mystery to us. I did see a McDonald's in the background, though. <laughs> the prescript was in the McDonald's play place this whole time. Talk about a cliffhanger! Oh, he's gotta tease me this way. You seem quite interested. Who knows? He might lead us to the full story behind the prescripts. Even then, we won't get to see if he... 
Even then, we won't get to see it if he isn't our guest. Ugh! Good point. Roland's just sitting here like, MY BALLS! I can't take and this! Just, and then it just turns out, the priest gives like, Hey, I have an invitation this whole time! Staring at the camera the entire time he's talking to the end. Ah, and like, wait, you... yeah, he's like, wait, what, what, what are you looking at? This is nice, because guess what I get to, guess what I get to gacha roll for today? Hey, everybody, well, hi, They're all good. gold yeah. pages! Ooh! Yep. They That's all have tasty. unique pages, Highway. Of course they're going to be gold pages. Oh. Let's go! Let's fucking go! Give me it! A uh, Highway get his SSRs? Ah, no. Different. Now for Hubert. One more roll! One more roll! Got these iPhone cards ready to go! One more roll! Damn it! No. You get four unlock ones. <laughs> <sighs> My balls! Stop it! You're crushing them! Stop! Got your fever. Get! Whoa! Ah! Oh, it's the card! The card is something, though. Yeah, but Can you need... use the card? I don't know. No. We're getting a bunch of, like, uh, index pages. Good index pages, at least. I know, right? Give me it, give me it, give me it, give me it, come on! Yeah! That is a deal, chat. Both the page and the card. Ooh! Feels so good on my skin. <laughs> well, you can't get large fest for yet. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's kind of the crime here, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Uh, dude, this is just making me more and more want to have a big four emote. But like, emotes are so tiny, I don't know how we're going to get a big four. I can't hold you the four. I was thinking more like the, the words big and then like the four portion of the Shin Association in the background. Because <clears throat> you can use it as like, big, or as like, big four. So let's get some fucking cars here. Because I need to, like, fill up these free script pages. Man, that's a... Oh, the overlay is fucking with that. I thought the glitch, the text was glitched. Yeah, it's just overlay. <laughs> Maximum Festivore! Oh, man. Look at all of these so unlock much... one pages. I gotta do so much fucking grinding. Wait. Unlock three, but the buy is a uh, gain one energy dragon card page. It's too nice. All right, it's time for Highwing to figure out what he wants to do now. Does he want to continue and see what the next fight is? I like, have or... to see what the next fight is, cause it's it's the wife. The wife has to be really pissed. Also, I have to pee. I'll be right back. <laughs> Loud pee.
Man, I was, I was just thinking about this while I was in the jump for some fucking reason, but like, it's kind of wild just how long and you, how long uh, Eugen's page was useful. Like, it was useful in every fucking fight up until now. All right. Well, here's the thing. We have. Let's let's fucking take it for a spin. Like, I gotta take it for a spin. I can't not. Yeah, I, I, I gotta go. I gotta go now. It's like, yeah, I'm sorry, dude. Have a good uh, night, man. Uh, I only want us just to stay up. <laughs> anyway, it's good night. Good night. Uh, man. Dude, fucking what? Uh, how do I unequip this page without. Take it out for a spin and die instantly. Probably, because I'm pretty sure I'm gonna get fucking destroyed. I mean, we still have enough time, enough for another day of. Um, oh yeah, like I'm pro. Like I figured that this, all this content was gonna take a week with how, uh, with how like how far we're getting in on the campaign. You got this fight. Hang on, how long <laughs> take you? I'm sorry. I'm looking at this. I just imagine Merlin's just like. Oh gosh, I'm gonna hit a fight. I wonder who else hit. Yeah. Really breathe well, though. Actually, you know, Merlin's doing the right thing. He's wearing his mask. Okay, so... Please, Highwing. COVID is just a distortion. <laughs> Shut up. Get that shit out of here. <laughs> I should reverse this attribution because Kalo is just not going to be used for a hot while. But man, Grit is such a good fucking passive. Like, are you ready to be functionally immortal? Am I just going to make him a proselyte? Where are my proselyte pages? See, what you gotta do is put Undying on everybody's page. Oh, unrelenting. <laughs> oh, I know what's going on here. Well, let's confirm this for now, and then I gotta... I gotta deal with this just because, like, we're not gonna fucking use this. My unrelenting pages. Oh, wait, that was... Did everybody, let's give everybody unrelenting. What's that? Dying? Uh, uh, no, I'll just survive unless you do maximum damage to me. Attributions. Uh, Rose May Bada. So two of them are still equipped because I should have five proselyte pages. Where the hell are they? Oh, there we go. Yeah, I don't know that shit. I also get a Bono back. Nice. Bono's page is actually really good. That's kind of the big thing flaw I see with the game right now is that it makes sense that libraries are bound to their floor. But it would be nice if we could just like shift the rosters around just to make things a little bit less of a headache. Wait, what the hell? I thought I unequipped the proselyte page. Where is it? I did unequip it, right, chat? This is really weird. Where's my index proselyte page? I should have a fourth one ready to go, but like it's not showing up.
Well, index proselytes are this? No, they're later on. That's really weird. I'm missing a proselyte page, apparently? Or did it not take? That's why. It's still, it's still attributed. There we go. It's getting the idea of going back to finding Philip with a crew all dressed as him. <laughs> hey, bro, what's up? How's it going? You so going? Why looks kind of like me, but on fire. What the hell is this? So back, I have come back to my shape. Wait a second. Actually, I don't think we need to skip preset because I want to get that Bono page. Extra shit, which one was Bono? Also, I feel like there's gonna be one more level. Cause notice how this is conspicuously open. Yeah, unstable charge. This is really nice because it's a 50-50 chance of just being better. Like, I wish I had more Bono pages in general, but I'm using them in a lot of places. How does one build a proselyte deck? Let me mention that this is the best one. Were we talking about unlock or multi-slash? Oh, unlock three is really fucking good, whoa. Binding chains. Somber prosecution. Eliminate. The big problem with this is that uh, Castignation is dead in hand for a while, so we gotta like. Oh, actually, I may have overhyped Castignation because it's a single target thing. I think Gloria is actually the more threatening one. Castignation is a strong single hit card. Which you don't have. That's true. But I believe it also has to hit. So we gotta do that on um, one sided attack. Oh no, wait, reduce all dice, all power of the dice by 12. So it's going to fucking ruin face. I completely forgot about that passive. Virus. No, we want Nightmare. Um, I like Execute. We're getting a lot of two costs. So we need some energy. Where? Oh, well. Can't have a singleton deck without the reason to play singleton. Alright, that looks like a good deck. Energy gain, card advantage. Uh, big power, big finisher. Oh, I was like, did the deck save? It saved. Okay, good. Alright. I'm not done with the content, chat game! Come on! Oh. Ooh. <laughs> I almost panicked. Well, shit! We gotta use it. We gotta see it. It's time. Time for an angry wife. Man, I'm dog tired. Wait, wait, what was that? Who's Miris? Oh, cool, you can see the portraits beforehand. Man, I'm dog tired. What the hell is the blue reverberation up to? That's what you're worried about? How are we even going to explain this to the association in our report? We don't have much choice. 
Just gotta describe what we saw there. There's nothing we could do about them. Speaking of, I don't think we've heard from Section 2 ever since they went on an expedition to the library. Did something happen to them? They're probably just too busy with the work. Zhao must be worried quite a bit still. Well, we have our own problems to worry about. We've got a few things left to wrap up, so let's head back inside, shall we? Pardon the interruption late at night, Director. We have a number of issues to, we have a number of issues to address regarding the cases we've recently take, taken care of. Director? Uh, sorry. I was distracted with thoughts for a moment. Don't mind me. You said you have a report to make. What is it? A number of experts are going to extract samples from the distortions we captured after failing to secure the crying children and send them to V Corp. The process is, to limit, is to estimated to take a full day. Will we, be, will we be put on standby in the meantime? Have you received any contact from the president or the executive board? Yes. They told Section 1 to stay clear of this matter. HANA Association will be taking over further affairs regarding the library and the distortion after monitoring the situation for a little longer. They felt the need to take their time to carry out a more thorough analysis and review of the library now that it's the star of the city, I see. Are we going to pull out of the, this nest then? Yes. You'll be going back as soon as the extraction is done, so pack your belongings in advance. Until then, rest up and get yourselves back into optimal shape. You ought to be prepared for any then task. Then the invitation slips in. Oh my god, you're right. It's just gonna fall right in her fucking palm and she's gonna lose it. Understood, ma'am. We'll be going now, so have a good rest de Wait. Listen carefully to what I have to say. Section 1's next post will mo most likely be the outskirts, where the strife between the ring and the pinky is still fierce. We should especially be cautious of the pinky, so keep that in mind once you're dispatched to that, er to that area. Duly noted. Miris, overconfidence is your biggest flaw. Be mindful of that, and you won't miss... You won't face much hardship in the future. Chun, stay on track and proceed. You have the qualities to be assigned to a color one day. Why are you telling all of this this all of a sudden, Director? Don't tell me. Has there been, has there been other news from our superiors? No. I mentioned all the news I received to you. Instead, I received this piece of paper called the Invitation from the Library. It was placed on the middle of my desk so I couldn't miss it. That means a bit ago, you... You guessed right. Effective immediately, I'm resigning from my position as director of Section 1 of the Liu. I'll take all responsibility and penalty for the unilateral resignation and breach of contract by myself. You don't have to worry about your careers. What did you just say? I'm saying that my actions will not hurt your careers. You know that's not what I meant! They're going with her. Inside the briefcase behind me are documents containing all the information I can gather about the process of transferring my position to someone else. That may not be exactly sufficient, but please do understand as we have no time to return to the Association HQ at the moment. I am terribly sorry to suddenly abandon my position, everyone. You're heading to the library, aren't you? This isn't like you, Zhao. You know you shouldn't make such a hasty decision on this matter. I suggest going back to the association and gathering more intel. There has to be some useful information. You're right. This isn't like me. It truly isn't. It would Ill, it would ill become me to be tearful. And yet I cried for the first time in my life. I knew I'd have any I knew I'd have any relation to his I never knew I had any relation to such sentiments. I was reminded of Lowell's earnest request. He asked that we do not throw our lives away, no matter what happened to each other. I thought he was stating the obvious. I thought I could remain calm and cold. But when I was faced with, with loss in reality, I simply couldn't get over it. I'm ashamed of myself for this disgraceful behavior. Anger. Heartbreak. Despair. Sorrow. What should I call this emotion I feel? I'm not certain. There is one thing I do know for sure. I've seen countless lives and falses as I've climbed the ranks. I believe that everything in the city was deceit packaged as truth. My life was full of such lies, after all. The feeling towards Lowell in my heart, however, was true. I 
get where you're coming from, Director. Still, stepping down from your position like this would be unfavorable in more ways than one. If you break an association's trust, you will be excluded from this business in one way or another, even if you end up in office later. And that's not all. After. Even then! Has there ever been a time where I was so worried sick? Has there ever been a time where my heart ached from parting? Has there ever been a time when I wailed, pining for someone dearly? Lowell helped me realize that my heart is sincere. Thus, I will gladly surrender my body to the flame of passion for him, to prove that there was meaning to my life. How could you say it so proudly, ma'am? Director Lowell did, and now you too! Alright, Zhao, let me ask you straight out. Let's say that you managed to get Lowell's book. Then what? Are you doing this with any plans for the next step in mind? No. I have none. I'm simply trying to fulfill the will of my heart. You should know very well how others will look at you if a big-name fixer like you acted so emotionally in situations like this. I wonder who else would like it. <laughs> I know, right? Yeah. There won't be there won't be a place for you to return. Is that what you want? Even if stars were to rise in my sky someday, what good would they be without a companion to watch them together? I've already made up my mind. You won't convince me otherwise. Do you know that we'll be following you? I expected that somewhat. And you're not trying to stop us. If you help me, I'll have, be I'll have a better chance of getting his book. You're being so selfish, ma'am. What else can we really do when you start acting in a way you've never done before? I won't force you. You're free to choose to stay. If you still choose to follow me, however, you will have my eternal gratitude. The hell did I just watch?! Maybe you weren't entirely correct about fixers, seeing that even Section 1... Seeing that even the Section 1 director of an association can make such an emotional judgment. I'm shocked too! Who could have seen that Zhao of all people would be blinded by love? Looks like the light that shone during the White Knight in Dark Days had more influence than just creating distortions or ego, huh? The impression I'm getting from all the guests I've watched from here is that, well, people have gotten more honest than usual. And what we've seen reinforces that. I can understand her to a degree. If something were to happen to you, and also... Whoa! <laughs> what? Whoa, whoa, what? Don't tell me you're saying you're in, like, uh, hold on. I'm not ready yet. I'm still, I'm still a grieving widow. <sighs> Roland, please save your breath and cut the bullshit. I know best what, I know best what my sentiment towards you is, and it isn't love. <sighs> all right, all right. I know what it's really about, all right? You mean it's going to be tough to find another person like me to chat with, yeah? Correct. It would be extremely grueling to find and build a relationship with another companion of your level from scratch. The ship has sailed. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> the SS Roland and Angela crashing into the ocean blue. <sighs> so at the end of the day, we've come to the library. I can already picture the branch leader furiously grilling us. I'm deeply sorry for you. What's done is done. The choice was ours. Let's focus on taking care of business now that we've stepped into this place. And our deviation might be extenuated if we produce good results in the library. I'm fine with this place being my grave. All of you, on the other hand, should value your own lives more than anything. Yes, I know that this is a humiliating thing for me to say when you've already followed me here. You're awful brazen, ma'am. Let's just rule out the possibility of any of us dying here. If we get kicked out of the loo, you better give us new jobs to obtain our grain. You have my word. Greetings, dear guests. I am Angela, the director and librarian of my role's namesake. I'm afraid I'm in no mood to greet you back with hospitality, but manners are manners. My name is Zhao, and next to me are Shun and Miris. Greeter, men. Yes, thank you. What's with the hesitation, miss? Feeling guilty for what you've done after all this time? I'm sure you know what you, I'm sure you know what fate your colleagues wearing the same uniforms are as yours suffered here, don't you? Indeed I do. 
Yet you've made this choice. You were not ordered career or coerced by anyone else. I think you were in fact coerced. I'm pretty sure laying a letter here on the middle of your table that says, I have your husband's corpse, come get it, is actively coercion. And they're just trying like, okay, so you're actually doing this of your own will, unlike anyone else. I just need to I just need to be sure. This is for research. You better watch your tongue, Miss Library Director. You talk like we're already destined to die here. Enough, you two. What's your point, Library Director? I'm simply curious about the psychology of humans, which I know little of. And of the reason you're trying to earn him back in spite of the imminent danger. I've also... No, I've seen it more times than I can count. A story of someone looking for substitutes. From my experience, I cannot understand how you can value your goal more than your own life. Are you trying to assert that I'll be able to find a replacement for him out there if I tried? That is correct. That way you don't have to throw away your precious life. A machine won't truly understand the feeling of burning blood coursing through my veins because of something I cherish. The desire to have it back by any means, in any form. Precious is not a word you should utter as lightly as you just did. Dreams, hopes, ideals, all the words that describe what motivate humans to get up and live. Those words encompass meanings too grand for description, but it's simple at the same time. I still don't find that insufficient reason to risk your own life. I won't deny that. I presume others will overcome the loss of what's precious to them in different ways. Then why have you entered this place with such pride? Was it under unground confidence that you're stronger than us? Or were you merely blind with anger? That is what I would like to know as well. However, I know that this emotion I'm bearing isn't wrath or sorrow. You can talk big, but it doesn't make your life any less futile. To walk into the jaws of death for a meaning of existence? Sure, you can act confident right now because you think you're firm and sturdy. But when unexpected situations start to unfold before you, will that firmness of yours last? I think not. You'll be the first to break down, rather. In the end, it's having a faint hope that's just becoming pointless in the face of death. What can your trifling resolve change? Is this some kind of warning for us to turn back? Yes. I have neither the power nor right to stop you. You're really getting on our nerves now. She's definitely looking down on us. Let's just get in now, Director. Yes, I have the hopes that I will find Lowell's book here. Even if I think of myself as firm, I can't stop others from thinking that I'm petty. You're free to think of me as a pathetic human being. I couldn't care less about how, the, how others view me. What will a resolve change, you ask? Of course it will not do much. Hope won't magically illuminate the path ahead. It won't always be bright. It will be similar to despair in a way. I may be lost in the dark, not knowing what to do or where to go. It doesn't give a path, nor does it brighten the way. The true are too, truly alike. However, they're still considered two separate concepts with two separate words because there is a difference to be found. The right thing, by bearing in mind what I must do this instant and taking it into action, the impossible can be achieved. Hope allows one to touch the untouchable, reach the unreachable, see the invisible, row, row, fight the power! I can fucking resist, I'm sorry. Ruined. Well, you fucked it up already. Yep. I won't let your words break me. What is that word? Pofacenzo? The cauldrons were broken and the boats are sunk. There is no retreat. So let us enter if you are not afraid of us. May you find your book in this place. Maybe it's like Chinese slang or something. It's a Chinese idiom. Yeah, I'd imagine it's impossible to translate. Unfortunately... I hate to tickle y'all's balls, but I can't afford an hour-long fight tonight. <laughs> well, look, look what you're going up against. Yeah. Like... Oh, they have new cards. Single point stab. At the start of the next scene, draw all copies of... What? Really? 
Oh, it's so gross. It's time for burning his back, baby. If burning flash is a hand, discard it. On use, if burning flash is a hand, discard it and draw a page. Then add to the, the add. Oh my god, that's so good. What Burn the fuck? That's back, really baby. good. Break post and sink ships. Ah. And yeah, they have singular strike. But here's the thing: will singular strike syner synergize with burning flash? It adds the dice of the other burning flash. Yeah, I figured as much. It's like cut and dry. So if you have three, if you have three burning and flashes in hand, the one you're using is gonna be three instances of four to nine, possibly six to eleven. Yeah, because technically it's still just one die, and not actually. Ah, singular strike will boost the first. Ooh, ooh, ooh! I like this gimmick. This is cool. And emotional turbulence. But yeah, I gotta fucking call it, unfortunately. Which means I probably burnt a Lowell page just for the plot, so I'm probably gonna have to do that before a stream tomorrow. But um, yeah, I can't. I, I can't afford this long fight. So sorry to, sorry to tease you all. <laughs> you might want to at least like not just get one, but just get a few. Just yeah, in case. yeah. Well, here's the thing. Uh. I think it was Tiger Bros that said, Hey, Wang, you might want to get a couple copies of Kato. That fight was really tough. And yet here I am, beating that in one fucking try. No, it's... Listen, Hi, Wang. It's a, it's, a, it's a fallback in case it happens again. Yeah, yeah, I could see... Like, I understand that. But stranger things have happened. <laughs>